I'm CJ Ward. They could use a little peace and quiet in Isla Vista these days. A community meeting is underway right now, and it's being called the peace meeting, appropriately. News Channel 3's reporters John Palminteri and Tracy Lair are following the story for us. And John, we will start with you. There is concern about Isla Vista's reputation after the riot. And no matter how you cut it, Isla Vista and UC Santa Barbara are connected. Now, UCSB, as you know, is named as one of the top party schools in the nation. But that's not because the parties are on campus. They're in Isla Vista. And that's usually where the problems are centered. After an explosive weekend, it's time for damage control in Isla Vista. Did you actually see people wounded? I didn't. There was a guy that I was walking past and he had a knife and somebody started fighting with him. So I just kind of kept walking. As Isla Vista copes with a violent Deltopia riot and looks for solutions, we asked if anyone knew this young man called the number one person Sheriff Bill Brown wants to arrest for suspected vandalism to a minivan. I can almost guarantee you won't find that person. It totally sucks. It's this just, person here. This person. I like. I've been here for four years. I've never seen this guy in my life. Those who were out earlier during the daytime water-oriented street party said Deltopia was much safer than what happened at night when the rowdy large crowds swelled. And there were cops everywhere, so it didn't seem like anything was going to get too crazy. Evidently, I was wrong. A community peace meeting at Del Playa Park is going to be one of many times Deltopia will be reviewed, but answers won't come easily because of the already very crowded community that's had felony violence this year, even before Deltopia. And some students said their parents from out of town did hear of the mayhem and worried phone calls were made. A little bit, yeah, but you know, they know I'm pretty safe usually. You know, Deltopia is one week in and out of 365 days of the year, so. So next year we're hoping that nothing like that happens because, you know, it's paradise here. We don't want to, we don't want to see go to waste. And students are inviting not only their fellow classmates and students from UC Santa Barbara, but also community members out to Del Playa Park right now for the start of a community meeting about Deltopia. So let's go live now for the very latest on that with News Channel 3's Tracy Lair. Tracy? John, I'm here at what's going to be a peace conference. People are just arriving and the organizers are here. And like you said, they're trying to get to the bottom of what happened. And they want all what they call the stakeholders to be involved, including first responders and people who live here, families and students. Joining me now is Alexandra Malay with the Isla Vista Tenants Union. Yes. How are you taking part? And tell me about this T-shirt. Um, this is our T-shirt. I am the community outreach coordinator for the Isla Vista Tenants Union. And really here, we're just trying to open a discussion to the entire community so we can all sit down and talk together about what has happened this past weekend. Do you think it'll go on next year? Um, I'm honestly not sure, but really here, we're just trying to communicate with um, ourselves and the law enforcement to see what can possibly happen to change this. You live in the heart of it. What changed from day to night? Um, I was out. I was enjoying myself during the daytime. We were having a good time. Um, I went inside for a couple of hours in my home, and I, I awoke to just rioting on the streets. I could see it all from my own balcony. And I, after that, I, I stayed inside. I stayed away from it, but it was very scary to see this happening in our community. If you had one recommendation, what would it be? One recommendation would be, like I said, communication. There was not much communication beforehand between ourselves and our enforcement, um, and also between each other about what we were expecting. All righty. That's Alexandra Malay with the Isla Vista Tenants Union, and she's part of the organization here. They're calling this uh, you know, a peaceful rally, and you can come on out, and we'll be covering it again on News Channel 3 at 630. Reporting live in Isla Vista, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3.